10 Worst Animals in Animal Kingdom Who Incur Everyone Wrath Human parents may invest a lot of time and money in raising their young, but that kind of devotion isn't always echoed throughout the animal kingdom. Here, a lot of babies and infants are left to fend for themselves for a very young age, and some mothers even seem to go out of their way to make it difficult for children to survive. Your parents are definitely very devoted people, right? But they also cannot avoid some mistakes. But no matter how many mistakes your mother may have made, there's no way she is in the same class as these animals' mothers. Who are they? Number 1. Heart Seals Mothers of these precious little ones are highly dedicated for the first 12 days. In fact, they do not eat at all during that period. Unfortunately, once the feeding is over, that's it for the mother child bonding. She's out of there, ready to mate again. Unlike many other species with such a rough winning periods, the hard seal pup can't go on to survive on its own yet. Instead, it is left stranded on the ice for the next month and a half, leaving it incredibly vulnerable to predators. The babies will lose half of their body weight during this lengthy fasting period. Finally, when they are about 8 weeks old, they are ready to swim and are able to start hunting for their own food. With a childhood like this, it's no wonder that at least 30% of all pups die during their first year. Number 2. Cuckoos Perhaps the most famous bad mother on this list, the cuckoo tricks other birds into raising her own youngster, freeing her up to enjoy life as a single bird. She does this by laying her eggs in the nest of another bird. Unfortunately for her victims, the cuckoo chick is hardly a grateful adoptee. Instead, the chick hatches earlier and grows faster than the other bird's real brood forcing the smaller chicks out of the nest to die. Number 3. House Sparrows While most women would be furious if their husband cheated on them, few would choose to take it out on any offspring that resulted from the infidelity. But that's just what the house sparrow does. She seeks out nests of all the females that made it with her partner and kills the resulting chicks this way, her baby's daddy will spend his time fathering her own youngsters. Just imagine finding out your mom killed your half-brother, so your dad will spend more time with you. Number 4. Pandas I know it's hard to think any negative about these adorably cuddly creatures. But the reality is that they're pretty negligent parents. In fact, despite the fact that pandas often have twins, they almost never care for more than one cub. The mom will choose the weaker of the two babies and start ignoring him or her in favor of the stronger sibling. To be fair, it's not entirely her fault. Bamboo is notoriously low in nutrition, so it's near impossible for a mother to make enough milk to feed two cubs. Even so, it's a harsh decision for a mother to make. At least, the cubs abandoned in the zoos are still cared for since the zookeepers don't have to worry about limited milk production like the cubs' natural mothers do. Number 5. Black Bears On the opposite end of the spectrum, the black bear generally has two or three cubs at a time. Unfortunately, when she only has one cub, the mother will often abandon it, deciding that raising only one baby just isn't worth her effort. Number 6. Black Eagles Any mother with more than one child can tell you how just irritating sibling squabbles are, but most parents know when to say enough is enough and to break it up. When it comes to black eagles, though, mom often just watches the fight even when the older, stronger chick ends up killing the younger sibling. Number 7. Rabbits If you ever thought your mom didn't have enough time for you when you were young, just be glad you weren't born a bunny. 
rabbit mothers immediately leave the burrow after giving birth and only stop by for a few minutes each day afterwards in order to feed the litter. After less than a month, the youngsters are left to fend for themselves. In the rabbit's defense, she is actually helping her babies by minimizing the chance to burrow will be found by breeders. Number 8. Burying Beetles Burying beetles are big believers in the idea that a squeaky wheel gets decreased. The larvae live in the mouse carcass and get fat as mom consumes the dead creature and regurgitates the meat to the kids. Unfortunately, there's not enough mouse meat for everyone. So, the ones that get mom's attention get fat first, the rest get eaten by their own mother. Number 9. Skinks What's a protective lizard mother to do when there are too many birders around her egg clutch? Well, if you are a skink, you say, better luck next time and eat the eggs before they get a chance to hatch. I guess it's better that your parenting efforts benefit your species rather than your birders, but it's still a little weird to dive into cannibalism without even giving your babies a chance at life. With these traumatic childhoods in mind, suddenly, your own mother's mistakes seem a lot smaller, don't they? When it comes to the animals on the list of our video, none of whom are going to win Mother of the Year, their babies have a much tougher start in life. Which of the following do you think is the worst mother in the animal kingdom? Please comment below the video to let everyone know. Thank you.